the first little kind of test shoot with uh, three models. I think it's gonna be anywhere from what, John, 15? This is John, creative director, Bandit. Not really, but. Kind of. That guy. What is your role? Don't ask. And then this is Tim, founder of Bandit. Hello. Um, visionary. First heard of Bandit just before the CIM marathon back in December, that was probably like November time. I was just like a, a huge fan. I saw one of their hats, their Bandit hats, and I was like, what is this? I need to figure out who, th who these people are. And then we got in touch in February and we just had a dream and uh, he took a gamble. We'll see if it pays off. I think so far it's doing all right. We'll see. He may have a different answer. Working with Joe is a dream come true. I followed Joe a long time before we actually connected and fell in love with his street photography, first and foremost. When Joe came in for summer, uh, he'll probably tell you. He was you, bugging. I he was, was freaking out. Freaking out. And I was like, sick to my stomach after the campaign. I was like, I don't even know if we got a single shot. And uh, sure enough, the film got developed and my jaw is still on the floor somewhere up in at HQ. And then uh, saw what he could do with two people. And for fall, I was like, okay, let's multiply that by 10. Yep. So we have 20 models. And the idea is I like, give Joe just unlimited resources to work with and do things with. And so I said, Joe, before I told him what the concept was, I was like, you're gonna have a field day. You're gonna love it. We're gonna do it right here in our backyard. Yep. And uh, and yeah, today's the day. So we start now. That was heat. That was so good. Just like back at the mirror. Logo that <laughs> reflecting on the chest. So good. <laughs> oh, so good. <laughs> and we have Nico. Uh, Nico and I have been on a, a few jobs together. Um, we met uh, 2020 on a Cadillac job with Rizza. The following year, we did a thing with Lowe's in uh, Martha, Texas, when the Bengals beat the Chiefs to go to the Super Bowl, even though we lost. We'll talk about that later. No, we're not talking um, about that. But Nico is shooting uh, the motion uh, bit for this campaign entirely on film, 35 millimeter film. So he's assembled an incredible, uh, incredible, Spec op. Yeah, Spec incredible op cast here to, to, to crush it. We got Nick back here, man in the camera. DP? DP? Yep, director. It's going to be great. So, how are you feeling about this? Very good. This? So, Nico, ready to shoot. he's probably going to be humble, but incredible commercial uh, director. Um, does a lot of, uh, in the automotive industry, but this is like your first. First taste in the running in, space. In the running, running, the running space. space. Yeah, it'll be fun. It's different, but it's movement. Yeah. Just like a car. Yeah. It's a person. Yeah. They move, cars move. It's yeah. going to be good. And it's a different approach. I think 35 yeah. with what Joe's doing, it's, it's going to be special. It's gonna be Bandit spoiled. The bandit, the bandit, the bandit boys, the bandit boys are spoiled. But they're going places. Yeah, they are. They are. They are. Oh. All righty, so we are day two, really the first full day. Last night was just kind of a getting our feet wet, allowing everybody to meet, allowing the 11 models to kind of get together. And um, so we got a nice 7.30 a.m. start. Uh, we're here in Greenpoint. So if you see right there, uh, they're about to set up. We're shooting a 35 millimeter film with it also. And so they got the steady cam on this truck that they're about to do, which is gonna be fun. So I'm gonna be on the back of the truck shooting some running stills uh, over the 35 uh, motion uh, folks, which is gonna be great. But anyways, yeah, energy is amazing. It's a group of models that run and then runners that can model and uh, that are part of the bandit community. Um, but everybody, the energy's high, everybody's vibing, it's great, I feel good. Wanted to bring you along in a YouTube video just to show the BTS of a commercial shoot that I usually do, uh, which I've never done uh, on this channel, so I'm excited to, yeah, bring you along. Big shout out, Chris, 
Nope, give me the camera. <laughs> Thank you, Chris Chu. Focus, keep going. Infinity, is that as close as you can get? Oh no. Dang it. I hope it doesn't focus on me. Thank you, Chris, for being here. He's be, uh, being my uh, my film here, my film assistant, loading cameras, metering, being my second set of eyes, and it's gone so smooth. Um, he's been a huge help, so right. thank you, Chris. just chatting it up like that's such a great opportunity to get some extra BTS stuff uh, that could be used you know in some of the final selects for the campaign it's and that happened so much on my last shoot in summer I had a shot list kind of had some ideas that they wanted you know we wanted to, to get together but then so much of both of our favorite photos and the ones that were used uh, heavy for the campaign were those candid just like reacting to my gut instinct, like, oh, this feels right. This feels balanced. I like what's happening here. I like the, the emotion, I like the movement. That's like the, that's maybe the street photographer in me, just constantly, constantly always looking. And um, now that we have 12 people, 12, 13 models, it's just like I'm on a busy street at a festival. I'm just using, but I actually, they're here to work and to, and to be in the photos. So it's actually much easier than shooting on the street. But so I can compose them like I would in a dream scenario when I'm on the streets. When you get that photo and everybody falls right into place, the, that, the, that dance happens perfectly and everybody steps in the right spot at the right time. That's exactly what's happening here, but in a more composed setting uh, where I can actually move people to fit that really satisfying frame. Um, and sometimes it happens naturally like this, like, like they're just chilling. Like, look at the stacking there. Oh, that's good. Oh, nice natural. Great, Gabby. We're talking about white chicks. The movie? Yeah. That's awesome. It's a three, bro. Two, three. Like three. Black double T. Wow. You wanna buy it? Five grand, dude. <laughs> you wanna buy it? Yeah. Shout out Kendall. You know how much Jenner. I got it for? Shout out Frank Ocean. So, you know what would be sick too? Another shot, me shooting from behind the runners, and he called this, and he's by, he just passed him, and he does the back, back oh, towards dude, it. Dude, that would be so good. And I'm so shooting, good. like, I'm shooting forward through yeah. the runners, yeah, and then maybe the runners are giving it back, and he's yeah, like, you see I'm one. shooting this way. It'd be so good. I'm not a bird flipping no, person. Go ahead and blur these. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. You know, it's bandit.com right now. So. This shot is either gonna look sick or it's not gonna work out at all. That's the only bad part about shooting. Hold the corner. All right, action, go ahead guys. Her, a quick lunch, not a quick lunch, but a lunch. Um, just thinking about those bike runner passing photos. I shot four photos, two two of them from the front, two of them from uh, from the rear. I felt solid about at least two of them, maybe three. Uh, one, I'm not sure, but it's it's kind of zone focusing on the Pentax um, or, or picking a spot and let them run through it and taking the photo. But that's just. Either it's gonna work out and be amazing, or it's absolutely not gonna work out and be hilarious. But that's sometimes you win some, sometimes sometimes you lose some. But most of the time, you lose them. Um, at least that's my case. So, but that's part of the game, baby. It's uh, part of the reason why I love shooting film. It keeps me tack sharp. Keeps me honest. Um, in a way that if I had digital, I would have shot 783 photos there and 700 of them would have been perfect. And so I'm very thankful that I only took four. And uh, those, that last one felt right. You know, when you're shooting the street and somebody steps at the right time 
in the right patch of light and the balance of the frame comes together like and as street photographers you know exactly that feeling i'm talking about that's what that felt like on the on the last frame everything came together the balance was there the composition worked the emotion was perfect um, i feel confident about my settings feel confident about the flash output it was just that i knew it like and i had to jump right at the end to make sure i got over their shoulders um but it felt uh it felt right dropping but the energy is good I'm, I'm everything's fitting perfectly uh, the, the cast of models are absolutely smashing it right now they're they're throwing incredible looks good body language especially when we go singles we go two three four five people in if there's just a really good pace there's a really good I'm going a little slow I'm sure everybody want, wants me to go faster but I feel really good with everything that we're doing here um, how are you feeling great feel good? <laughs> oh my gosh Okay, okay, hold on. It's inverted. This is gonna take me a second. Uh, I need to see, yep, find the camera. Two, one. Um, I feel really good about this. We have one more. We set? Mm -hmm. One. Dark slide. What? This has been the 12th time that this has happened. You can tell I'm a Pentax 67 user. Ready, here we go in three, two, one. Damn. Hold up. Again, this isn't like a sponsored thing for Bandit. I mean, I'm shooting a campaign, but like they're not sponsoring this video. I'm just so gassed by this. I mean, look at that color. Kayla. It's so beautiful. <laughs> Yeah. We're gonna do the, the monochrome. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Hair's back by next Peter has a hot take here saying that there's a pizza better than Roberta's Bee Sting. Shit, don't get that on camera. I, this guy's got hundreds of thousands of no, dollars. You're also no, a freaking yeah. Italian, so I'm definitely gonna listen to you okay. over my <laughs> Okay, okay. I wouldn't lie to you. I wouldn't say anything wrong direction. So breathe easy, y'all. Breathe easy, y'all. sunset for uh, the, the, the shoot is wrapped as you can tell uh, I've got a really fun angle on uh, the models I saw these like containers and on this like just beautiful asphalt texture I wanted this like very tight 110 105 focal length uh, that'll punch in with them kind of in different uh, spaces so that's what we're about to shoot right now as you can tell we got the 110 on the RZ that's what's the asphalt I'm very excited uh, to kind of like compose these folks right there. I love it. That's awesome. It's so important in these commercial shoots. It's taking me a minute to get here, but if you shoot commercial stuff or any kind of photo shoot, it, any, doesn't have to be commercial, doesn't have to be for paid even, that if you feel an impulse creatively and you see something that like might be a unique composition, go for it. I'm here focusing on this asphalt fence kind of area, sunset. I see these blue containers and I'm like, you know what? 
I've got these longer lenses, the 110, 105. If I punch in on top of that with that angle, I think I get some really nice stuff. I did that at the very end and I ruined these pants, but by John's assist, it's holding my body weight so I don't topple over. That's I'm, how you get world class, people. Wait till you guys see these photos that, I, that we just took with this angle with my hands coming down, punched in just above their shoulders towards the asphalt. You have no background other, set, uh, uh, other than them and the asphalt at a really special angle. That could be a favorite shot this whole weekend. Uh, and that's one of those things that just kind of following that artistic impulse, which Bandit has allowed me, uh, they've given me space to press into that. You know, I think that's what's great and what makes this partnership so special is that they believe in those impulses that I have creatively, but they got a shot list. So I'm here to help them get what they want, but they trust that as an artist, you got to follow your passion. You got to follow that impulse. You got to lead with that. And I think that's a match made in heaven. And um, that's not the case. I will say that now as primarily a commercial photographer. Um, that's not how it usually goes. And so I know that I have something special and uh, it's cool that they allowed me the freedom uh, to press into some of these uh, different compositions that I see. And uh, I'm really excited about that one. That was good. All right, that was a good practice run. Let's do it live now. Wait, you want to record in? <laughs> no, he's good. One last thing, one last thing, one last thing. All right, all right, all right. Guys, that's a wrap. All right, hands in, let's go. One more time, one last time. All right, Bandit on three. Thank you guys so much. You fucking made our dreams come true. Seriously, me, Arda, John, the whole Lowe's York squad, Joe Greer, like, we couldn't have done this without you guys. We love you, you're a Bandit family for life. You'll find out what that means eventually. <laughs> but I promise you're with us forever. Thank you guys so much from the bottom of our hearts. Seriously, you don't know what it means to me. Thank you guys. On three, Bandit. One, two, three. <laughs> Bandit! Bullets, bullets! Bullet. So, thoughts on the wrap? Oh, thoughts on the shoot? It was just, uh, the Bandit team did an incredible job of assembling an A plus team that allowed me to do what I love doing pretty easily. Uh, because it, the, the models were incredible to work with, but there was just such great energy too, right? Like that was what was special. Like there are 12 hour days, but everybody was vibing. Everybody was talking, everybody, there was no awkwardness. There was no weird, that's rare to find on a set. And uh, Tim and the folks at Bandit created a very special uh, ecosystem where people felt safe, felt comfortable, uh, that they could be themselves, that they could engage, they could catch up, they could get to know each other. Um, and that was, I think that is gonna come across massively in the photos as well as the film. But I'm on cloud nine, but I'll let him take it from here. But, thoughts? I'm just so happy, I'm so proud of everyone. And I'm just, I mean, this transcends a photo shoot. Like, it's so much more. And I'm just really fucking proud and happy and thankful. Yep. I don't know what else to say. That's it. That's all I got. Go Bandit.com. Bandit.com. <laughs> no, not Bandit.com. Bandit.com. Bandit I'll figure it out.